Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some Cosmic Storm PvP and in today's video we are going to be using Storm Man. This card is actually really really good um, and I think that it might even become the meta pet for Storm because you can always pack in Storm Beetles inside and this pet is kind of godly because it gives you a Storm Beetle and a Storm Man. Storm Man is really really good for getting offensive pressure and just the utility it provides. The fact that, the fact that you can do damage or just break a shield and change their bubble or buff yourself in one turn is so good um it's really clutch in situations where they have a buff up and they may or may not have a shield and you need to take off that shield and change the bubble it's actually really solid so this spells is not only a lot of fun to use but it's really good situationally and i would definitely recommend it uh basically just remade my pet my boy barney the the baby dactyl we put on you know the triple double galvanic and then the storm man card which is really cool so i got two matches for you guys today where i used it and uh kind of just popped off so yeah hope you guys enjoy i will have a new video every single day as you guys already know i would really appreciate if you could drop a sub because i'm working so hard to bring you guys quality content these matches i've been posting lately have been insane i mean the shadow trickster games my god tanking by less than 100 each time um and then the dude the frost minotaur just some lit videos so anyway thank you guys for supporting me i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm sure you will and i will see you guys in the next one as always peace out guys no i had two games that i was winning threw in the trash can and now even if i play like a god i'm i'm just i lose like there's no way i win this like actually no way at all um and a fantastic starting hand by the way and when i say fantastic i mean absolute meats absolute meats yo bubble for no reason okay i hope i full stun blocks otherwise i have to initiate the bubble war which i'm not a fan of but yep i got a yep a horrible starting hand very very bad should have sent the insane nah nah I, I just played like an idiot that second half of the game i could have won so easily but i threw like i don't even know what went through my head bro i should have there were so many there were like 50 different plays that i just did wrong and all those plays cumulatively cumulative cum i don't even bro okay cumulatively cost me the game all right let's pull i got a tower shoot i'm down so let's see what he does this turn. If he bubble changes, I stun block. Oh, that's fine, bro. You want to get to shielding? I'm cool with that. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I could enfeeble you, bro. I don't mind enfeebling you at all. He's letting me keep bubble control too. I'm gonna keep the enfeeble because I don't need to discard it. And then I'm just gonna stun block here because I still have two buffs. I'd like to pull Rusaka, but like I don't mind enfeebling him. That would force him to have to blade again. Let's see. If he blades again, I will send the enfeeble. You know what I mean? Okay, pull two tower shoots. I should probably be pulling for Usaka, so I don't know if digging from side that turn was a good, good idea. Probably not. Keeping this is also a little bit sus, too. He's not going to blade again. There's no way you blade again. If you blade again, I'll enfeeble so fast. Okay, yeah, there goes the set shoot. There goes the set shoot, which I'm fine with. So at this point in time, I'm going to discard a tower and do one tower myself. Yeah, okay. Because now if he does hit me, then I'll just get rid of the enfeeble. Yeah. I mean, I could strike enfeeble, force him. No, no, no. It's just dumb. That's dumb. I, I need to get rid of the enfeeble, but I want to keep it like one more turn. He's going to dot me now, huh? Yeah, so I should have just enfeebled earlier, gotten rid of it. Yeah, there goes the Chris Frostbite. It's going to do like 50,000 damage a take. This is literally doing like 2.5k, which is kind of insane. Kind of insane, bro. Um, And he gets the Shad before me. This is actually ridiculous. This is actually a, a, a atrocious match, dude. Okay, thank God I pulled that at least. This is an atrocious match, though. 457? Oh, that's not that bad. That's not that bad, bro. I'm gonna send the lightning off right now. But yeah, dude, this is looking like a this is looking like an L, bro. This is just uh, this is just looking like an L, man. I'm just not I'm just not on my game today. We're gonna send the elf though. I mean, I guess this game I'm not even playing bad. I'm playing the best that I can with my deck. I recognize the right moves, so. It's not like the last two games where I just started throwing for no reason. I'm not gonna draw anything right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna draw anything because I'm curious to see what he does. If he triages, I salt, and if he weavers, I blade. If he bubbles, oh, of course, right? Just brace because it's like a fantastic move, and now you're immune for like eight turns. I love ice. Yeah, just brace, bro. Brace is so OP. Brace is so OP. I'm gonna get rid of one bubble and just blade here because like I'm not gonna shield while he's a dot on me. He has no buffs either, so I gotta blade this turn. Then I probably have to shield, and then I probably have to strike. That's that's most likely what I'm gonna do. Blade now, shield, then strike. And I don't know, hope that I can do some kind of damage to him. Pull the storm, man, so that's lit. But I mean, he's just gonna send the Weaver now. He's like, yo, I've got an open shot, or is he gonna bubble change? If he bubbles, I'm cool with that too. I will not let you keep bubble. I will not let you keep bubble, bro. There's no way on planet Earth I'm gonna let you do that. No way, dude. No way you keep bubble. 
I have enough bubbles to, to win this war too. So I'm gonna go to both these stun blocks. Do I keep the catch of the day? Yeah, against the storm. I'm gonna 25 bub as well. Because I feel like now that he bubbled, he's gonna have more bubbles to deal with that. So I'm gonna 25 bub, keep my 35, but I'm gonna take that damage away from him. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I'm adding damage to myself, but more importantly, we're racing on his brace and I'm buying time. So that's good actually. I'm glad he changed the bubble because now I'm down for this, you know. I'm down for this, bro. Okay, I put Usaka. I don't need two catches of the day. Draw once from side deck. There you go. I put him up. That's what I wanted. If he, let's say he hits me here, I will strike. And then if he tries to change the bubble, I can storm man and strike, which would be like kind of lit. So let's see. I'm curious to see what he does here. I'm very curious to see what he does. He's, is he going to change? Please change the bubble again. That would be the best thing. Change the bubble. Thank you. I'm down. I'm so down for that. Waste out your brace. Give me more time for a galvanic. And now I get a 35 bubble. Fantastic, dude. I'm super down for that. The only thing is he's buying time to get a second Shad, but I don't really care about that. I'm just going to change Bub right back. And now I have a 35 bubble with a 35 blade. Galvanic, when his brace runs out, would be ideal. That would be like Ultra Gas if that like miraculously happens, but I doubt it is. Pull the Beetle, which is also a big, like that could be a huge move. Let's say he shields here. Would I strike or Beetle or what? I don't know. That's a good question, actually. I might I might still strike. Because then he's going to want to change the bubble, and then I storm man into the shield. Okay. If he shields, I strike. Yeah, if he shields, I strike. That's the move. Brace again? Oh, my God. You're actually sweaty, dude. You're actually like, bro, what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to strike, though. I mean, there's no reason for me not to strike at this point. I'm not going to need this catch a day. I'd like to keep it and hold on to it, but I'm not going to need it. I'm not going to need it at this point. Yeah, I got to strike here. I got a strike. He just rebraced, dude, which is so dumb. I mean, like, what am I going to do, right? If he shields, I beetle. If he doesn't shield and changes the bubble, I storm man. I, ch I storm man for sure. Because I need to keep bubble control and I'd get a pierce blade. That's a really hot pull. Uh, yeah, change the bubble. You won't. Change the bubble. Yeah, he's like, ah, I got you. No, sir. No, sir. I came prepared. I came prepared for this. So now, I mean, I could also just send a Rusaka now because then he's probably going to weaver me. So maybe I Rusaka first, then I Storm Man? I'm trying to think. What's the better move? 30 Blade or a 25 Bubble? I mean, what if he ends up changing the bubble? I kind of want the damage. I think I'm going to Rusaka first. It is a bit of a sus move, but I'm going to Rusaka first. I'm in Strike with a Blade. I pierce through everything. Like, that's an open hit against an Ice, you know what I mean? Where I pierce through all of their resist. So I'm, I'm going to take that hit, bro. Actually, he still has resist. Oh, and I didn't even critical. Watch this. Look at this. He still has resist left over. He still has resist. The Psycho. Look at that. 5.3. Okay. I'm glad I sent it, though. And I got the Blade and the Galvanic. Okay. Okay, bro. So now he's going to Weaver me. And then all I got to do is Storm Man. Like, Storm Man is some heat, bro. Storm Man is some heat. I just got to... I wish I'd kept the catch of the day, though. Because now I'm going to need... I could pull my Squall. I could pull my Squall, bro. So it's not over yet. I probably also want to pierce enchant, but I'm going to enchant that anyway. Oh, yeah, just storm the spell, of course. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that storm the spell. Fantastic. Okay. I'm still glad I got the Rusalk on him, but, like, that was a little bit sus. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to go ahead and just do this to tick it off, yeah. I want to keep the bubble in my hands because I might need to change it when I get out of strike. He's going to waver me now, and I will take 1,600 backlash. So I'm going to be pretty low on health, which is unfortunate, but we're okay. We're okay here. I'd like to get a damage. I mean, I could pull for something. Actually, I need a pull for something. There you go. I got the Stormy free. I, I need to hit him. So if he weavers, if he set shields, I storm, man. If he weavers, I storm E free. Because I need I need damage, bro. I need the damage. I could storm E free into a storm man after that. He's going to set shield though, huh? Or is that a tower? If that's a tower, I still storm E free. Oh, it's a set shield. All right, so I do zero damage to him. So storm man is definitely my best move here. For sure, Storm Man is my best move. Um, because I'm not going to do any damage to him, you know what I mean? So that actually worked out quite nicely. I, I think it was still... I would, if I had crit the Rusaka, it would have done like 7,000. So I feel like that was still a good move to send the Rusaka. No crit again, of course. On like the one matchup where I really need it. But that's okay. I ain't complaining. Actually, I am complaining, but it's okay. It's alright, bro. So there we go. That did, Yeah, exactly. If I had set the Storm Me Free, it would have done like 1,500. Which would have been nothing. This way, I take away the damage he can do to me. And I get bubble control. Which is pretty important. So in two turns, I do that which is gas that is gas get the pierce blade uh i'm taking 1600 lash though which i'm not a fan of but i mean i can't really prevent that you know what i mean like what else am i gonna do right i can't really do anything what am i gonna do okay i gotta pull for shields i'm about to get a shad he would be dead to a shad and his brace is about to run out so i think he's gonna waver me and if he weavers me i'm probably going to elf him that i think would be my best move right there you go i pulled the elf so here comes, oh, just re-brace, right? Exactly, just re-brace because, like, why do anything else besides just spam brace like some kind of psycho, right? 
So I'm actually, I have a plan though. I do have a plan. It's not, it's not the best plan in the world, but it happens to be my plan and it happens to be a plan. I'm gonna go to this. Can I pull a tower, bro, please? Dude, I literally didn't even pull the tower shield, which is what I really needed. Bro, that's so unfortunate. I gotta discard that. Dude, I didn't even, oh my, oh my, I lose now. I lose. I literally lose, bro. I should have sent the E-free. I should have sent the E-free, bro. I stunned just because I didn't have any other move. I needed to tower shield, bro, but I didn't pull it. Didn't even pull it. How do I not pull towers, bro? I have so many in my deck, but now I lose because now he E-freeds me. I should have elfed, actually. Why did I? St yeah, okay. I'm playing like me today, bro. I'm actually playing like me. Are you going to bubble change here? If you bubble change, I'll still go for the Stormy Free. Okay, I have to Stormy Free into a Sultan. That's literally what I have to do. I have to Stormy Free Sultan. And I don't even think that even comes close to killing him. He has so much health. He literally has so much health. I mean, I guess I could waste out his brace, but he's wasting out my Galvanic. But it wouldn't even kill. It literally wouldn't even kill, bro. So I gotta, I have to change the bubble, but I lose this game. I needed the tower, bro. That's why I packed 10. If I had pulled the tower, I would have been fine. I would have tower shooted and then Sultan. I mean, e free into a Sultan. But now I lose for sure, bro. I should have elfed last turn, too, instead of... I mean, I guess I, I needed the pip, so that wasn't a bad idea. I pulled the strike, too. So take he changes the bubble. I have to strike Stormy Free and then just pray. Strike Stormy Free, Oni no plague. That's literally 100% what I'm doing. I, I strike this turn 99%. I can't think of any other reason why I wouldn't strike here. I mean, I could change the bubble one more time, but I'm pretty sure I'm just dead to two Weavers, right? Two Weavers back-to-back, -back, I'm just dead. But I guess I'm wasting on his Galvanic a little bit. Nah, his health, his damage is really low. So if I could pull a bubble, I'm down for that. But I don't think I'll even pull the bubble, to be honest with you. Let's go to that. I'm not going to tower shoot. Oh, I did pull the bubble. Okay. I'll do I'll do this because it wastes out his brace and it gives me a chance to get a Galvanic. So I'm down. I don't think I'm dead to two Weavers. I think I would tank two Weavers, no cap. So I'm going to do that. Just change the bubble because I can. Like I said, I'm getting a chance to pull other stuff. Uh, Don't need triage just late in the game. Now I'm pulling towers like there's no tomorrow. Okay, let's see what he does. If he, if he, let's say he weavers, I strike. I strike for sure, bro. I strike 100%. Or actually, do I just store me free? That's a good question. He's gonna weaver me now. He didn't pull a bubble, he's gonna weaver. When in doubt, weaver. Yeah, there you go. So there goes the weaver. I'm pretty fine. If I strike store me free, he's just dead. Pretty sure he's not doing 5,000 damage off of two weavers with no buffs, and I have a 35 buff. So yeah, there goes the weaver. Of course, okay, thank God I blocked. There you go. So even if he crits another weaver, I'm okay. So now I need to strike. Hope he fizzles whatever attack. As long as he fizzles the attack, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Oh, bro. That, yeah, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. So his braces run out now. His brace is completely gone. So now I send the strike. Yeah, now I send the strike. Because his brace is completely gone. He might re-brace, honestly, but I'm going to do this. Hopefully get the Galvanic as well. If I get the Galvanic, that would be ultra, ultra gas. But uh, I don't know, dude. It's not looking too hot. It's not looking too hot at this moment in time. Uh, that's gas. That's ultra gas. I pulled everything I wanted. Okay, I got my full arsenal ready to go. So he's going to Weaver me again, I think. I don't think he's going to Satchute here. I mean, I'm going to Stormy Free no matter what you do, right? No matter, yeah, no matter what you do, I'm Stormy Freeing right now. I can't think of any reason I wouldn't Stormy Free. He's probably going to Weaver me again because, like, why not, bro? Oh, Cold Iron to double the shields. I mean, I'm still going to E for you. Because if I Storm E free, I can, I'm pretty sure a Pierce Enchanted Rusaka kills. So the Storm E free is really just to break the shields and for the utility. I could probably even Beetle here. If I, I, or Lightning Elf. But then like, nah, nah, nah. Because I, I don't want to die from Backlash. And that's what he's trying to do. So I need to Storm E free. Yep, Storm E free is still my best move. And it's still going to do a little bit of damage, right? It's obviously going to do very little damage. But it'll still do a little bit, right? So that's what's more important. The more important thing is just to make sure he can't, like, hit me. You know what I mean? And this still does, like, I don't know, maybe 800 if I'm lucky. Let me see. I crit with a Pierce Blade and a 35 bubble. 961. That's still 900 damage. And it's more to prevent him from hitting me. I don't mind if he tower shields here. Or even a set shield. Like, a, a Rusaka kills. It's more I don't want him to hit me. Actually, I don't even care if he hits me. Pretty sure he's just dead to the, to the Rusaka if I were to send that. So let's see what he does here. He's going for the cold iron because he wants a set shield. And of course he powers. Yep. Look how ridiculous this is. Look how dumb this is, bro. At this point, now the question is, I mean, he doesn't pack. I'm not dead to a climb, am I? I feel like Pierce and Shannon Rusaka is not the move. I feel like I need to squall wyvern into a, into a Sultan. I think that's what I have to do. I feel like I need to squall into Sultan. I'm trying to think, bro. Squall into Sultan. Because this does not kill, bro. I know I have Pierce Enchanted, but I can tell you right now it doesn't kill. So I think I need to Squall and then Sultan. I really think that's my move. I'm not even joking. I think that's my move. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to send the Squall here. Because I'm telling you right now, Rusaka would not kill. So this at least gets me damage. And then he's dead to a Sultan. You feel me? So 
Beetle would have also been okay, but this is better. I, like I said, I need to get that damage. I need to get the damage. So I do this. Break that shield. Look how much, look how little this does. It does like, what, 700 base damage? Look at this. 700 base damage, right? Turns into 1700. So that did about... Actually, Rusaka might have might have killed because of the critical, but that was still safer. Because he's not going to mantle me, and I'm not dead to a climber. If he climbs me for the tie, like, that's just whatever, dude. Like, you're just dragging me down with you as a behemoth. Like, come on now. This is, like, your best matchup, and you're, you're really going to do that. So, he has the shield, and even if it's a set shield, he's dead to the Sultan. So, I don't think he's got the climber, and I don't die to anything else. He's already... Yeah, I win. I win. I win, baby. Set shield. Do it. Send the set shield. See how much I care, bro. Yeah, tower shield, no problem. Thank God we won, bro. I have a one percent chance to fizzle this. If I fizzle this, I'm I'm done. I'm done whizzing. I'm done whizzing, bro. There we go. There we go. All right, we managed to recover. That's good. I'm down, bro. This was a very hard matchup, and we still got the dub, so I'll take it. Ice is literally the worst possible matchup. That kills. I do not care. Yeah, you can block that critical all you want, bro. Oh my God, what a ridiculous game. So, all right, so we're going against a fire wizard. Good luck, bro. Should be an interesting match. I haven't played a fire in a while. All right, so you said good luck. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Um, ooh, 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 weird starting hand. Weird starting hand, but that's okay. We managed to condense it. I had enough time. So I do need to stumble. I don't know if he's a trap stack fire or if he's a blade stack fire. I think he might be blade stacking, which would be a little bit sus, but I'm just going to stun block, get it out of the way. I don't need to necessarily spam tower shields. I do want to get buffs and that kind of thing. Okay, I don't need 50,000 Rusakas either. He's got a lot of health. That's also a pretty big problem that I'm kind of concerned about, but I'm going to stun block here. I'm trying to cycle my deck more. That's the main thing. That's what I'm trying to do. I need to pull enchants. Um, I need to pull more of my hits and stuff like that. I'm trying to pull Sultan, Squaw Wyvern, that kind of thing. Okay, so I don't need this 25 bubble. I don't need that either. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be 25 bubbling, right? Yeah, if I bubble, it's going to be a 35. I put another Rusaka, but I, I need to keep it now because I already discarded two. So my deck's kind of not working too good. Looks like he's going to tower shield, to which I could tower shield, but I'm afraid he's going to elf me. So I kind of want to elf him. I could also bubble, but I'd rather just elf him right now. Yeah, that's the move, right? Psycho my main deck as well. I should have kept the tower. Keep the insane bull. I don't, I don't want to keep it this game, but I might have to. I might have to, bro. So we're gonna send the we're gonna send the lighting off. That's the plan. That's the plan, baby. Get the lighting off. No crit, no problem. Zero damage. Whoa. Okay, he definitely has an Uber amulet. He's not set or anything. He's just got Uber amulet. Okay, so I pull the enchant. That's gas. Pull this. Draw a few times. Okay. Stormlord obviously won't do anything for me, but I did get a shad. Yeah, it does nothing because he has a lot of flower resist. What is this? Is he gonna blade or is he gonna bubble or what? Let's see. He went for an Aegis Protected Blade. That's a smart move, but I can counter that pretty well. I can just Tower Shield myself right now. Get rid of the Stormlord. Keep a Lightning Elf. No, no, no. Just Tower Shield. Just Tower Shield. Draw again for my main deck and just do this. I can afford it. I have the OT on him. I don't need to initiate a Bubble War. You know what I mean? Like, it could be nice, but there you go. I got the Galvanic. So, I've got a buff. There you go. So, I don't mind sending a Shad now. Now that I've got that, I don't mind. I also want to play around Scion. I want to make it so that he has to get rid of that Blade if he wants to do something, you know? Um, obviously don't need the enfeeble draw another time. Okay. That's a really clutch pull I do like the storm man because I might that might come in clutch dude That might come in clutch. So let's see what he does. He's gonna use up his blade It looks like which is fine. If he does that would I just send the rusaka? He's gonna wyvern me Triashi would be my best move and i've been trying to pull for it, but I don't think i'm gonna pull for it All right, so I did block right i'm pretty sure or did I not block? I think I actually didn't block. Let me see yeah, I did block block gas. Okay. So a triage would be ideal. Otherwise, I don't mind sending a galvanic. You know what I mean? I'm down for a galvanic. That I mean, uh, I'm down for a for a, to send a hit his way. I'm not pulling. I'm not going to need this. I'm going to get rid of that. And if I go for it, then I'm not going to need a Scion. But if I discard and I draw the triage, I'm going to discard it. Yeah, I didn't pull. I'm going to send the Rusaka. I've got a Galvanic. His resist is low. He has no buffs. That did 700, bro. Why is that doing so much, man? Okay. Well, obviously, this is still my best move, right? I'm going to send the Rusaka. I mean, there's no way on earth I don't, I don't do this, man. There's no way I don't send the Rusaka. I better crit and land. Bro, like... Oh, man, dude. What is this meats? What is this meats, bro? 4600 i got a minus blade fantastic 4600 and a minus blade that's ultra gas that really worked out quite nicely for me honestly i love getting uh is he gonna ffa me here i don't think he is i think he's gonna blade or shield oh he's gonna take the shad okay i'm gonna obviously elf him because one more rusaka and he's dead yeah he's gonna marshmallow me that's fine oh oh that's smart actually he got the dot traps for his overtime yo i swear to god you better not crit this or i block i better block this dude my god okay i have good i am telling you i have good block and i have good resist and i'm good critical but okay uh that did like all my health so now i think i just lose 
<laughs> now I think I just lose, bro. I'm gonna have to storm me free into something weird, bro. But yeah, I got a shield now just to protect myself from damage. Or no, I, I need to elf him, actually. I need to elf him. But then I lose so... He's gonna do so much damage to me. I just be dead to a shad, right? I just be dead to a shad. I can't shield, though. I actually cannot shield. Even though it's gonna do so much damage to me, I need to elf him. I have to elf him. Yeah, I have no choice. I have to elf him. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I'm gonna be solo health, but I'm gonna elf him now, and then I have to tower shield into an Ellie shield, so I double protect myself. That way, I wouldn't die to a Shad, for example, but I have to do this. I got the minus 30 blade. If I had gotten a damage blade, then I wouldn't have had to do this necessarily, but I don't really have a choice. I gotta send the elf. That, that minus buff is gonna affect me too much. At least I did get the Shad, so that's important. That definitely is important. Um... Should I be drawing from side at this point? No, because I'm in a tower shield right now. I'm, I'm shooting right now no matter what. 100%. There's no way I wouldn't shield. There's no way on planet Earth I wouldn't shield. At this point, would I be striking? No, because I need a shad to hit, right? I need a shad to hit so I can discard the strike. He's going to shield here, I think. Or is he going to blade? His better move is to blade, but he might shield. Okay, he, sh he bladed. That's a smart move. And the furnace. Okay. Well, I don't have a sultan. I wish I had my sultan in my hand, but I don't have the sultan. So, I'm just going to I'm gonna very quickly tower shield. Very quickly tower shield. So, I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm just going to do this. All right. I still have the storm man. So, I could, for example, storm man if I don't pull a beetle into, like, a sultan. But I'll do this. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead to a brimstone or, like, whatever. But, yeah, bro. I'm just getting some cheeks RNG. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get some cheeks RNG right now. Let me see. I can't. I don't have what I want either. I pulled the storm me free, but that doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, I have to set shield. I, I have to. I can't even blade. I got a shield, and I should have kept the. Sh nah, I don't need the strike actually. Let's see what he. He's gonna shield right now. To which I have to shield as well. I need to shield as well. I gotta double shield myself. Like a hundred percent. I gotta double shield myself, and then I might even have to storm me free into something else. That's a set shield, right? No way you blade here. Yeah, it's a set shield. Okay, that's fine. At least I've got the OT going, so I'm just gonna go ahead and. Uh, Get rid of this, and then just do that. Yeah, just do this. My Galvanic is gone now, but I'm pretty sure Rusako would still kill. So I'm just gonna do that. Just get the double shield up. That way he can't, like, one-shot me. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna have to shield. If he doesn't shield, I can take the Rusaka. I can literally take the Rusaka to his head. So that's pretty chilling. If, let's say, let's say he shields right now, I would just Storm Man at that point, or would I still Lightning Elf? I don't know, actually. That's kind of tough. Or I could shield again and then Storm me free combo. That's also something that could work. Let's see what he does, though. I'm kind of curious. I think he's gonna shield again though. He wants to like E free or something. That's I'm pretty sure that's what he's trying to do. Oh yeah, there goes the shield. So he wants to E free me. I'm like 90% sure he's just gonna E free into a fire shark. And then there's like nothing I can do about that. If he E frees into a fire shark, how cooked am I? Scale from one to ten. If I storm in, I can still storm E free after, but I wouldn't be able to combo. I mean, it's not like I can really combo right now either. But I'll send the storm in, I guess. But I don't think there's anything I can do at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna send the storm in. Because there's no way he shields again, bro. There's no way he shields again. If he does, then I could do something else to combo. Elf would have also... Actually, Elf would have been better. Because then he could just tower shield right now. He could just tower shield now and then go for the E-free combo. But at least this way, I'm making it so that if he does E-free me, then I would be able to uh, kill him with the Thor's Hammer, potentially. So I need to dig for that Thor's Hammer. At least I buffed myself. So nah, that Stormman was a good move. Yeah, Stormman was still a good move. Even if he does E-free me, I need to pull that Hammer, though. I need to, I absolutely need to pull that hammer. If I don't pull the hammer, I'm 100% cooked. Don't need that because I have shads. So if I need to do something, I can just Sultan. I can just, I can just Sultan, bro. So I got to see now at this point what he's trying to do. Is he just going to shield again or is he going to E-free me? If he E-freets me, that's really dumb. Oh, he's going to Hefe me. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I respect it, but I'm pretty sure Rusaka just kills. Like, I'm, I'm, I honestly think a Rusaka just kills, bro. Rusaka would kill here. Let me think. Um... That definitely doesn't kill me because I've got two shields. So even though he's double buffed, it doesn't triple buffed. I mean, uh, it doesn't kill me, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm fine. That did 600. I need to send the Rusaka here. I think a crit Sokka does kill, bro. I think a crit Sokka does kill. But I do need to critical. I should crit, though, because I've been doing it every time and he's blocked everything. Yeah, okay. So I need to crit this, but, like, I should crit it, bro. There's no way. I, I will actually, bro, I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be so pissed if this doesn't crit and land. Because he crit and landed everything on me, and then I haven't crit. But, like, this might even still kill. Honestly, let's see. That You better not block this, I swear to God. Okay. GG, bro. GG, let's see if I needed the crit. That's the next question. Uh, 4.6k. Maybe. I don't know how much, how good his block is. Another minus 30. Alright. Well, either way, that was a good game. We played that well.